me YouTubers, it's Lady Grave Dancer and I'm here to show you how to make my money powder or dirt, whatever you want to call it. Um, and also show you the spell itself on what I do to um, make it and how I actually use it. And of course, like with anything, you can use it any way you want to and you can switch it up with, with anything that you like. I'm only here sharing my things that I know work and that I use. So if you want to see how to make my money powder, then just stay tuned and watch. As I started recording, of course, my dogs wanted to start playing. Um, what I was saying was, um, yeah, it's been forever since I made a video, but today I'm back to show you my uh, money powder and how I use it. I was on FaceTime with a friend the other day, Crescent Moon. Hey, girl. And I was doing stuff because we do stuff while we're FaceTiming and we, we exchange energy with each other and, you know, we do things. And she's like, see there, you just did like three videos. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I need to get back on and, and make videos. But anyways, okay, first you're going to want something that you can burn stuff in. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is burn some money. And yes, I am burning money for anybody who's going to ask, like, why are you burning money? You can't burn money. I'm burning money. You can actually, if you just Google it, you can actually get yourself some money that is no longer in circulation that way that you're not actually breaking the law because they were going to shred it anyway okay google there you go okay now i'm going to burn some money now the bunny the money obviously represents money right so it has all that energy in it and it is a little difficult to burn and one dollar doesn't get you a whole lot can i just say you don't get a lot of ash but you really don't need a lot of ash so I am just going to burn and keep on burning until it's all burned up, okay? And if you're wondering what I am burning it with, I am actually burning a selenite candle here. I'm on my divination altar right now and I'm just getting the money burned here. I have my all my main divination tools. I have my crystal ball that's under this black cloth and my scrying mirror my ba basket of bones, tarot cards, oracle cards, pendulums are here. This is my divination table we're chilling at right now. Yes. Okay, so it looks like it's getting to where we need it. We're just gonna, the fan is kind of blowing on it and it's continued to go. So I'm probably just gonna cut it a little bit so that it won't be such a long video. Okay, so I'm pretty well. Oh, wait, that's a little bit big. I think I need to get that a little bit down. Yeah, buddy. Now, oops. All right, so I pretty much got it down now. Let's get it all mixed together just there a little bit. Now, Money has its own intention. Money is exactly what it is. It's money. I don't know what other energy money can give you, but money is what it is. So I am not actually going to need to enchant that in any way. Whenever I got the money to burn, I had cleansed it because so many people touched the money. So it was already cleansed and it's been in my house. So there's no real need to do anything else, for, in my opinion. But of course, do you, boo. Do you. Add is going to be bank dirt. Here it is. This is dirt. Now I've had this bag. Now it was full, and I've had the same bag for quite a while, at least I want to say two years. And I've been using the same dirt because it was from the oldest bank that we had here in Garland, and it's been torn down since then. And they're building freaking condominiums right there, which is ridiculous. But when it was still a bank. I had gotten bank dirt from there, and that's the dirt that I'm still using. It, it was such an intense bank. I can't tell you how much that bank felt like money. Like, it, I can't explain it unless you felt it before. So I was glad that I still had some left, but after this is gone, I'm going to... Any bank dirt will do, of course, but I just really wish that they hadn't done that to that bank. 
So yes, the next thing is bank dirt. And there's no recipe. We're not baking. You add as much as you think that it needs. You fill it out, you do what you feel is best. If you don't feel like putting that you should put bank dirt, then don't put bank dirt in it. If you feel like you should put some other kind of dirt, do that. If no dirt at all, it's completely up to you. I'm just showing you my recipe. I'm going to crush it a little bit because I just want it just a little finer than it is. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit of my energy. I just love that little vibration that you feel whenever you're adding your intent to something. It's just, it blows my mind every time after all these years. It still blows my mind. Okay, so next what I'm doing is I'm adding some magnetic... magnetic um, sand. What this basically is, um, you can buy it, it's called lodestone food and I got the gold one but you can use any color or if you just have some magnetic chips you can use that as well. You're wanting to put something in there that represents a magnet which is pulling the money to you. This is what we want. And if you don't have a magnet that you want to keep in there and it's something you want to keep on the altar you can actually just add a magnet into the bottle that you are going to have this mixture in and just keep it in it and it'll have that um, that uh, energy of the magnet you just want the magnet because you want to pull the money to you you see so I'm using the gold sand and I'm calling it sand there's absolutely no sand in it so I have no idea why I'm calling it sand it just looks like sand it's not And I just added some of my energy to that as well. And at this point, you can add dragon's blood if you want to. You can add anything that you want to. If you want to add some eggshells to do um, a protection around your bank to make sure that money doesn't fly out but only comes in kind of thing. If you're having trouble and you're not sure where all your money is going and it's just like you're just spending it or something and you, but you don't know where you're spending it at if you if you under, if you're going through that then you understand what I'm saying it's like you don't feel like you're really using it but your money just keeps flying out you can add eggshells to it as protection dragon's blood is also something that protects but it also helps you pull in so you can add dragon's blood to it as well um, at this point this is all that I put in it is the money the bank dirt and the um, magnet that's all that I put in it as far as it goes here. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. Now this you could, sorry my dogs are barking, so at, um, at this point you can just bottle it up with a magnet if you want to. I already have some because like I said I was making it the other day and um, Crescent Moon was like you need to make a video and I need some more anyway because what I'm doing is at work and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it like this container you can put some magnet in there well as you can see things haven't changed in my house the dogs still bark <laughs> um, yeah you can add a magnet to it if you don't have the the dust or the chips you can just put a magnet in there it doesn't matter the size so at this point I'm gonna add this to my bottle okay so now I've added to my bottle, and like I said, you can add a magnet in here if you want to. You can add like change in here, like pennies and coins and that sort of thing in there if you want to. Just whatever you feel represents money to you, you can add in here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this little mixture here. I've already made one set that I'm going to use, so I'm not going to go do the whole thing. But I'm going to show you how I um, dress the candle. It never hurts to have an extra dressed candle. You never know what you're going to need it for, right? And I actually can go ahead and add it in here because I usually do things in three. And for whatever reason, I only put two in there. And I usually do things in three. So apparently this video was meant to be. So here's the candle. And here is one of my money oils. This um, particular money oil, as you can see, it's in a green bottle. 
much you know money right but I have money in it this this money right here has been in this bottle with this oil and I just keep redoing the oil in the same bottle with the same money and re-enchant it and then put it on my money altar at least since my last house because I didn't make it in this house so I've had the same thing going and just redoing it for at least six years so it's that simple but it's that good yeah it's just a basic money oil someone might ask how I make it it is an oil of your choice actual money in there and some people will say the higher the dollar amount you put in the more potent it would be and that could be true I've n never really had an issue with the dollar amount that I used when it represents money it represents money but that's just how it works for me and then I have a couple of quartz crystals inside of it and oil and that's it and I keep it on my money altar that's it so we're gonna be using this and we'll take my rings off Okay, I'm going to sage my area. And the only reason why I'm saging is because the dogs were acting up with all the barking and stuff. I just kind of want to get the, the energy on a little quieter of a level. sage for you here you go I'll share with you guys here you go love it you can see I've used this you can see the gold pieces on there and I'm going to sprinkle some of this on here you might say that I'm set in my way because like this particular um, bandana you can see the color from the bandana is all gone it's all brown now because I wash it and use it wash it and use it only for money workings it's just uh, just the way I am I just I just like to use the same stuff for the same thing so I feel like the intention is stronger when you do it that way I could com be completely wrong but you know to each their own right and now I'm going to carve some dollar signs into the candle with my selenite pen So you could choose to carve on your candle or not to carve on your candle. It's completely up to you. This is your spell, you know, make it your own. I'm going to put some energy into this candle before we move on. I'm going to put some money oil on my hand. And I'm going to put it all over the candle while rubbing my energy and intent into the candle. all over the candle and now I'm going to rub it into our mixture and there you have a dressed candle okay but I'm not done yet okay let me move this out the way. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. You see how I have two candles already dressed in there. And I have my selenite over here burning me some nice wax. So I'm going to pour that wax into here. And place my third candle. God, I hope you can see. Into the wax.
and then it'll sit and seal. And I'm going to cut my wick down because that is longer than I like. There we go. And in here, I'm not sure if you can see and how well you can see, I also have hematite. I use hematite for healing and for money. And I like to buy them in these little chips, little hematite chips. I'm going to put a couple more in there because I put new wax in it. But hematite is really good for healing in it, but it's also good for money. And I don't hear that a lot in the community, but if you've never tried hematite when doing money spells, try it because it works really well. So I put a little hematite in there. And then that will sit. I'm going to let it cool off that I can sh so I can show you how it doesn't move. Well, it's already not moving, so my room is really cold. I keep my house cold. So let me... Okay, so you can see here, I have the three candles in there. And then I have the selenite wax all in there, holding it together with my dressed candles. Okay, and so how I'm going to use this is at work. We have several vacant units because we're, I'm doing cleaning on the property that I just took over. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a property manager and I was just promoted up to a very large, large property. And I've had to do some cleaning in there. So we have several apartments that I need to get leased. So these, this, I have a little altar I have at work. I've always kept an altar at work whenever I work. And, um this will be burning on my altar I will have money salt which if you want to see how to make the money salt let me know and I'll make the money salt for you I have um, money salt all the way around the candle and I'll show a picture if you're following me on Instagram or Facebook tomorrow I will put a picture of it burning at work so you can see it but um, I'll have my money salt around it to keep it sealed in and then I will burn these and the rest of the powder that I've made I will put at the front door and the back door the reason I'm going to put it at the door because of that magnet that's in there. It's going to pull people in. And I'm probably going to put some at the end of the driveway of the property too. Uh, it just makes sense to do it that way because the driveway is quite far from the office. And you got to use and you got to use that driveway to get to us so you can lease the apartment. So I'm probably going to put some over there. Remember, this goes far. You don't have to use so much. You see how much is on the, the dressed candles. Okay? It goes a long way. So I'll be putting some of this at the door, the front door and the back door and in the driveway. So that will, and I've used this on the other property. I've done this same type of spell work for years. I've been doing apartment managing for 19 years and I've always done the spell work to bring in the, um, the occupancy when it's needed and it's always worked. So yeah, I'll put a picture of that on either Facebook or Instagram tomorrow. That is how you make my money powder. And if you want to know how to make the money salt, I will also share that as well. It's a very, very simple spell, and it's, it's just very effective. So if you want to see how to do that, I will also make that for you guys. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, leave any... Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys at the next video. And if you have anything that you want to add in comments, please do, below, do so below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next video. And as always, blessed be.